I have a problem, guys. I'm losing. I, I, I'm so distracted. <laughs> Anyhow, then you're like, okay, no. Anyways, the girls. <laughs> huh? channel if you're new here karibu sana if you're coming back thank you so much um guys i am ready to take me out for breakfast okay it's um it's 120 uh, 110 but i have been um i've been having such a lazy morning i woke up and i wanted uh, pancakes and i'm lazy to make pancakes so I'm taking me out to go have pancakes at my favorite pancake place. It's called After You. You can find After You in almost any mall, I think. So yeah, I'm going to the closest mall. I mean, I could go. There's a there's a new pancake place. I think it's a Japanese pancake. I mean, I'm not in the mood to start new things right now, so I'm gonna go to the one that I know, which is at the mall. So yeah, I'm gonna go have me pancakes. But before I do, I wanted to quickly do this video. Someone did ask me to do a video on how much it costs to do hair as a black girl in Thailand. I mean, I did a video like this where I showed you where you could get your hair done and a link, a link, or rather I'll leave a link maybe here. Yeah. Anyways, but I didn't mention how much it really cost. I just showed you where to go get it done. Okay. Now, um, I'm losing. I, I, I'm so distracted. <laughs> I'm really so distracted. What was this? Okay. Yes. The, the cost of doing hair in, uh, in, 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 in Thailand as a black girl. Okay. So as I said, there are two Africa, um, or rather Afro shops that I know where you can do your hair. The first one is, uh, the one that I go to regularly is in uh, Palladium Mall in Pratinam on the second floor. Uh, it's called Santa Fe Philomena or is it Phenomena? Phenomena. Okay, I'll link their Instagram here. <laughs> Santa Philomena, I think. Uh, it's the one that I go to. Um, and then the, the, the other one that I didn't quite like. The first time I, I went there, I didn't quite like it. And that was it for me. They were a bit rude uh, to me. That's not to say they're bad people, you know. Just because I had a bad experience does not mean they're horrible people. So if ever you want to check them out, they are in uh, Soy 15 in Pratunam as well. I don't know what their shop is called. But um, actually, the place is called Mama Noah's place. Mama Noah. Okay, so yeah, you can go there. But the one I normally go to, the one that I had this done at, is um, the Phenomena one. All right. Now, straight into it. You know, when you're going to do your hair, you either have your own braids or... Hold on. I need to switch off my data and internet because too many distractions. Bye-bye. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, you can either carry your own fiber or you go buy fiber there. We all know that if you go buy the fiber at the salon, it's going to be more expensive. But then if you buy your own fiber, it's a little cheaper. Okay. Now, there are quite a number of girls that sell fiber, uh, sell fiber in Thailand. I lie. I only know of one person. <laughs> I, yeah, I only know of one person, m and Services, uh, Mariana Ngendo. Uh, she sells quite a number of things, actually, you know. I, I bought this from her. This Abuja. No, no, no. This is, um, is it Avis? Is it Angel or Avis? Okay, it's Angel. Angel. Yes, I bought this from her. Uh, white tapes and all. Um, she has quite a number of colors, if you're into that stuff. Uh, yeah, she also actually this girl sells a lot of things, eh? She sells unga, she sells roiko, she sells blue bun, she sells pilau masala, um, she sells hair food, she sells uh, like cantu cantu hair products. I think she's quite she's quite the jack of all trades, you know. She also does uh, bookings and stuff like that. So yeah, check Mariana out. She's on Instagram. She's also. Um, She's also she also has a website where you can check out the products that you want. Okay, she also sends money actually. Yeah, she sends money. Also, my friend um, Hustler Hustlers Hub they also send money. So, if you guys want me to plug you with this, 
do let me know and I'll do a video on that. How to send money back to East Africa. And by East Africa, I mean Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. I don't know if they do the other countries as well. Anyways, let's do continue. So Mariana sells this hair. She sold me this for 150 baht, I think. One piece. Um, one of these is 150 baht. Uh, she also has expressions. I think expressions are 350. I think. I'm not sure. I also bought uh, four locks from her, uh, which I think were very small. <laughs> Yeah, I bought one for 320, but I do understand um, shipping and all of that stuff. And plus, I looked very nice in it, so I didn't mind. Here's a picture. Anyways, uh, yeah, so those are the stuff she sells. I'm sure she sells uh, much more. Those are the ones that I've bought from her. As I said, I link her website and her um, Instagram page so that you can browse through and see what you want. All right. Uh, and then I did say that you can always go to the salon because they have these things. They have a variety. Okay, they have a variety so you can go to them and pick whatever color you want and then they'll do it for you. Like uh, this one that I did on Thursday, I forgot to carry my fiber. I have a problem, guys. What should I eat? Should I eat omena to give me omega? Omega, what does omega do? Does it uh, prove, um, improve your brain? What, your memory? I don't know. I'm not a nutritionist. But anyways, I am my, my, I am so forgetful. So I really did pack my fiber, left them um, on the couch, and then left. When I got there, there was no, I, I didn't have them, and I, I was not about to come back. So I did, I did this with their own fiber. Uh, yeah, and uh, this, their braids with their fiber, washing and drying cost me one thousand six hundred, which I think is quite affordable. Again, I said, I go to uh, Phenomena Salon. Was I going to say Shalom? Huh? <laughs> Philomena Salon. <laughs> Anyways, um, Philomena, I go here because I, I actually should mention that there are quite a number of individuals that also do hair. Okay, like I, I used to do my hair with Bola. Bola, she's a Nigerian girl, very nice. I also did my hair with Quinta. Quinta is also, she's Kenyan. Uh, the only reason that I go less to them is because um, they're teachers and students, so sometimes the schedule is a bit tight. So, you know, you might not uh, get them on a short notice. But Bear, the Phenomena Salon, uh, this is what she does. So she's always there. You can always just make an appointment or you just walk. I recommend you make an appointment. And I'm also going to leave all her details down here. Also link um, the video that I did about that salon. Yeah, so anyways... That's about the background about that. So when it comes to doing hair, I, as I said, I did this for 1,600, um, everything included. And if you're Kenyan and you're trying to convert this into, shil uh, into shillings, don't do it. Don't you pay stress for no reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this was 1,000, which is about 1,080. Guys, it's a lie. Miatano. Miatano is a B, uh, it's about, um, divided by three. It's about 160, 170 baht. Anyways, about 10 times. But anyways, uh, that's about that. Sometimes you can do single braids. Single braids range from 1,500 to 3,000, you know? Uh, you guys know that uh, the amount, uh, rather, no, no, no. The amount you pay depends on the size and the length. So the smaller they are, the more money you're going to get, right? The bigger they are, the less money you're going to um, get. No, not get, but pay. And uh, the bigger, the thicker they are, the girls... <laughs> What does thick girls have to do with this? <laughs> Anyways, um, I was saying the thicker the braids are, the less money you pay. And also if they are shorter, they also you pay less. But if they are thin and long, you're going to pay probably 3000 Shit, to my top. Anyways, uh, those are about braids. Um, sometimes lines go up to just 1000 uh, also, yeah, and, and uh, to put on a wig, no, weave, to put on a weave, my friend does it for like 1,000, and I think that includes washing and stuff like that. And also, when we come on Chana, una hustle, usiende ko salon, una kwambia, elufumbili, and then you're like, okay, no, lazima up again, okay? Um, I know. It's different from Kenyatta Market because in Kenyatta Market you have a higher bargaining power because there are number, there are millions of salons on there. Uh, the, these people have a higher bargaining power because there are only about two of them. 
but you should also not just accept the first one, just begin with them, okay? And you can be a elf billy, at least tradition baka 1700, you know? But also be considerate, guys. Be considerate. Uh, these days, I try not um, bargain as much because if someone is going to spend five hours doing my hair and I'm going to give them only 500 only i don't know 1500 that's 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 no that's not nice because as a teacher per hour you see like you you charge 500 at, at, more, at least yeah no 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 anyways uh what was i saying <laughs> i lose track a lot uh what was i saying yeah so bargain but also be reasonable Okay, mtu akikwambia umfunzie mtoto na nani 300 300 utaweza. Say no to that. Don't do it. Anyhow, that's how much to do hair. They also wash your uh, your wigs for you. I think washing wigs, piling it is about 500 baht. Yeah. And to cut your hair, I I don't know how much it costs to cut your hair. I think my friend Brian from Bank of Musings should be in a better position to tell you where to cut your hair and how much it costs. I think that's it. I think I've cut a, uh, I've covered up. Uh, ooh, to blow dry your hair without doing anything is about 200. That should be it, man. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, um, whatever you want me to cover, let me know. I'll gladly do it. For now, I need to take this princess to go have breakfast. All right. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.